Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Manila in ruins. 8.4 megaquake cripples the capital. To tsunami warning. Coastal cities face imminent destruction. These aren't movie scenes. The Manila Trench is a real seismic threat that could devastate millions. The ground beneath Luzon is dangerously active. Ignoring the warnings is a gamble we cannot afford. This isn't about panic, it's about preparedness. The time to act is now. Will we wait for disaster or act before these headlines become reality? The choice is ours. The scientific community agrees. It's not if, but when, the Manila Trench will unleash a massive earthquake. This subduction zone has built up stress for centuries. When that stress releases, a violent megaquake will strike. Scientists estimate a magnitude 8.4 or higher is possible. Metro Manila faces catastrophic risk. The science is clear. The warning has been issued. The Manila Trench is a massive scar on the ocean floor, stretching 1,200 kilometers along Luzon's west coast. Here, the Eurasian Plate dives beneath the Philippine Mobile Belt, building up pressure over centuries. The plates don't slide smoothly, they lock, storing energy like a compressed spring. When the plates finally snap, the result is a megaquake. The trench's proximity, just 100 to 200 kilometers from Luzon, means seismic energy will hit major cities like Metro Manila almost instantly. Shallow subduction zones amplify the risk, creating a perfect storm of geological hazards. But the threat doesn't end with the quake. A massive tsunami will follow, triggered by the seafloor's sudden movement. Tsunami waves will race toward the coast at jetliner speeds, leaving coastal communities with only minutes to react. The Manila Trench is not just an earthquake threat. It's a catastrophic tsunami generator. Understanding this is the first step to survival. The danger is real, and it's right at our doorstep. Imagine a normal afternoon in Metro Manila. Traffic, offices, classrooms. Suddenly the ground trembles. A gentle sway becomes violent shaking. Buildings groan, glass shatters, people crawl for cover as the earth moves like liquid. The shaking lasts for agonizing minutes. Fear mounts as structures threaten to collapse. Outside chaos reigns, bridges buckle, overpasses collapse, power lines spark fires. Communication fails. In some areas, the ground liquefies, swallowing cars and tilting buildings. As the quake subsides, a new terror emerges. The sea recedes, exposing the ocean floor. This is the warning sign. A tsunami is coming. Minutes later, a wall of water crashes ashore, sweeping away everything in its path. Multiple waves follow, each more destructive than the last. The day the earth shakes is a day of cascading disasters. Earthquake, fire, tsunami. Survival depends on what we do before this day arrives. The unimaginable can happen here. Will we be ready? The choice is ours. Science is our first line of defense against the Manila Trench. FIVOLCS operates a network of seismic sensors, detecting even minor tremors and mapping active faults. High-precision GPS stations track ground movement down to the millimeter, revealing how stress builds along the trench. Paleo seismology, studying ancient earthquakes, helps scientists understand how often megaquakes occur. By analyzing coastal rocks and sediment layers, they reconstruct the history of past disasters. All this data feeds into computer models that simulate future earthquakes and tsunamis. These models help create hazard maps and guide emergency planning. While we can't predict the exact timing, we know what's coming. Science gives us the knowledge to prepare. The tools are in our hands. The question is, will we use them? Our future depends on it. We've seen the devastation of subduction zone megaquakes before. Sumatra in 2004, Japan in 2011. The 2004 Sumatra quake unleashed a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. 
the lesson early warning and public education save lives. In 2004, there was no warning system. Communities didn't recognize the signs. The result was tragedy. Japan, the most earthquake-prepared nation, faced a magnitude 9.0 quake in 2011. Buildings survived, but the tsunami overwhelmed defenses. Sea walls failed. The real key to survival was evacuation. Run for your life at the first warning. Technology and infrastructure matter, but public awareness and rapid response are critical. Cascading disasters, like Fukushima's nuclear meltdown, show that one crisis can trigger many more. The lesson, prepare for the worst case scenario, not just the most likely. We must learn from these tragedies, the Manila Trench demands nothing less. Will we heed the warning? When the Manila Trench ruptures, all of Luzon will shake, but some areas face greater peril. The western coast, from Ilocos Norte to Batangas, will feel the strongest shaking and have the shortest tsunami warning, less than 30 minutes. Metro Manila, built on soft river delta sediments, will experience amplified shaking, risking widespread building collapse. Older structures not built to modern codes are especially vulnerable. Liquefaction threatens districts like Marikina, Manila, and Pasig. Ground could turn to quicksand, tilting buildings and rupturing pipes. Infrastructure failure, power, water, communications would paralyze the city, making rescue nearly impossible. Metro Manila is the nation's economic heart. Its destruction would cripple the country for years. The economic fallout would be catastrophic, with supply chains severed and recovery taking decades. The human cost would be immeasurable. The Manila Trench is not just a threat to lives, it's an existential threat to the nation's future. Knowing the danger zones is the first step to survival. Preparation must start now. Survival starts at home. Your family's safety depends on your preparation. Before the quake, create a family emergency plan. Safe spots, meeting places, and an out-of-town contact. Secure heavy furniture, move heavy items to lower shelves, and check gas appliances. Prepare a go bag for each family member. Water, food, flashlight, first aid kit, whistle, dust mask, and important documents. Store enough supplies at home for at least two weeks. During the quake drop, cover and hold on. Protect yourself from falling debris. Stay away from windows and anything that could fall. If outside, move to an open area. If in a vehicle, stop in a clear area and stay inside. After the shaking, expect aftershocks. Check for injuries and get out of damaged buildings. If near the coast, evacuate to higher ground immediately. Don't wait for an official warning. Use radios or phones for emergency updates, but keep calls brief. Your preparation is your best defense. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Every step you take now could save lives. Preparedness is everyone's responsibility. Start today. This is our moment of truth. The Manila Trench is a clear and present danger. We can't afford complacency. The time for urgent collective action is now. Government must retrofit infrastructure, enforce building codes, and strengthen disaster response. Local leaders must develop and practice evacuation plans and ensure every community knows what to do. The private sector, schools, and community groups must all play their part. Businesses must protect employees. Schools must make drills a priority. Communities must help the vulnerable. Resilience is built in the bonds of a prepared society. Ultimately, the power to save lives rests with each of us. Don't wait for someone else to act. The ground beneath us won't wait. Let the Manila Trench be the catalyst for a culture of preparedness. Together, we can ensure that when the earth shakes, our nation stands strong. The time to act is now. Our future depends on it.